So I came to Food Matters Live to present. Um, I presented at the Future Nutrition uh, Seminar. Um, so my uh, presentation was really about uh, how personalized nutrition is moving on, how it's changing the field of nutrition, and how nutrition and, and registered practitioners, such as registered dietitians and nutritionists, are really at the forefront and the key healthcare professionals who should be taking the science up there and educating themselves to be able to take the, for the science forward. Nutrigenomics is part of the overarching field of nutritional genomics. So nutrition genomics is really the study of how our diet influences uh, our gene expression. And nutrigenetics, which is really where this testing field is, is evolving from, uh, is looking at how our genetic variation influences how we might respond to different uh, diets or nutrients. So there's a, a lot of interest uh, in terms of the technical information of how the scientific field is evolving. There's a lot of questions around the public perception of how these tests are used, how useful they are, what value they add, how accurate they are. And also, um, most interesting for me, is who should be providing this kind of information. Consumers and the public will definitely expect uh, registered nutrition experts to understand this field simply because this is where it's going. It's going towards a personalized healthcare model and we need to understand the technical detail right now at the level that it is right now to be able to evolve the way we approach our uh, uh, recommendations and also how we uh, integrate that into the curriculum, how we teach students uh, for example so that we are preparing the next generation of practitioners. The DNA does test does not tell you what you've uh, what you've eaten, for example, uh, how how stressed you are in life, how much sleep you get. It only tells you what you have inherited, and therefore it won't ever be, uh, in my opinion, a, a list of foods, for example. But it it would be some kind of a guide of how best you respond to particular, um, whether it's macronutrients or micronutrients, and where we should be possibly tailoring a little bit more uh, where we know uh, we, can, we can make a change. We all are different, and we all respond differently, whether it's to different diets, whether it's to, to exercise. We all need to understand that uh, we are different because of not only our genetics, but also in terms of our environment and how our genes are expressed it's really determined by the choices that we make. So really our susceptibility uh, to developing these chronic diseases really depends largely on, what, on the choices that we make every day, what we decide to put into our mouth, how active we decide to be, and the kind of environment that. So really for uh, everybody who's in the health industry, this has brought our uh, personalization, let's see, to the next level. Although it's a young science, we are learning more in terms of how this information and how genes really play an important role uh, in our end destinations.